Hello everyone, this is Lisa from Power Wheelchairs for Success and this is the second video that has to do with clothing and the use of wheelchairs. And sometimes you might think, oh, you know, if you're just starting with uh, using a wheelchair uh, or you've been using it for a while and you're not quite sure, you know, what kind of clothing should I wear? This is frustrating, this is crazy. I can't put it on, and you're tearing your hair out. Um, first of all, I don't want you to tear your hair out. <laughs> you need it. <laughs> so remember, this is about fashion. <laughs> so you need to look your best. So, you know, we don't have to look like we are sick, ill, you know. And, and the better that we keep our hygiene and that we dress well and that, you know, we don't have to dress fancy. I think it has to do more with being comfortable and clean and, and groomed. And that will show people, you know, we're okay. We're okay. We can do this. So in my first video, I talked a lot about, you know, just regular clothing that you can put on yourself, that it would be, you know, not tight, loose enough, uh, and comfortable material for you because everybody's body temperature is different, you know, depending on their weight, their health condition, you know, what their situation is. So um, I have low tolerance for heat. So I really need to make sure that I wear clothes. You know, it's winter and I have my short sleeves on. My house is pretty warm most of the time. So, and this time in the morning, I have sun pouring through my my window and I have a a, a, sh a shield down <laughs> so it doesn't blind me um, and you know I have plenty of light so it functions like a soft box <laughs> as I film <laughs> so um, but really to be comfortable not too hot not too cold um, I use materials that are like cotton or a little bit softer that don't rub um, I do tend to have allergies, so uh, I have to be careful with raw materials. Um, you know, so everybody has to kind of think about what's going to feel comfortable for me. What can I afford? You know, where can I get X, Y, Z? Or I have an auntie who's great at sewing. If I can get her some materials, you know, can she make me X, Y, Z? So I wear you know, nice and decent joggers most of the time. They look like pants. Um, and, you know, I can't do jeans. I just can't. They just rub on me too much. And it's painful. So I have a condition. My skin is very sensitive. Uh, I have high pain levels. So I really use uh, silky or nice soft materials. Uh, and they have elastic, but they need to be loose <laughs> so it doesn't cause me pain. So it's that kind of thing that you need to measure and just, you know, have shirts that have like colors or blouses with colors. You know, I have this one that I just got and it just has flowers and a collar and some buttons and, you know, it looks decent. Um, so it's, it's that kind of thing, the, the impression that you want to give, like, okay, this person is, is, Got it. <laughs> so, but the second level of clothing for uh, wheelchair users are clothing that has like little loops on the pants so you can, you know, especially if you're a quad or, or you have issues with strength, uh, like I do sometimes, I, I have a hard time dressing because my, my strength is not there. So having little hooks or little loops on the clothing kind of helps to pull it down or to pull it up. Um, and I do have, you know, the, the sock helper, I call it the sock helper, where I put my um, socks on there and then I, I pull them up with a cord. So, so it's those kind of things you have to think through if you're in the hospital or you just got out or you're starting to wear, use wheelchairs and, you know, it's like, how do I handle the clothing? What kind of clothing do I get? You know, and it all depends if you are a person who is cold all the time or you're a person who is sensitive to heat, then you want to make sure that that clothing is adaptable for you. For instance, let me see if I can get it. Oh, no, I put it away. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Um, 
these are like snow boots. I live in the Midwest, so uh, we use these often. Now, it has a zipper on the side, and I thought that would be easy to, to zip up and down, and that would be practical. I wouldn't have to tie the shoes, but the, the nozzle for the zipper was so small, I really couldn't gra have a good grasp of it, so I changed it. I put on a key ring to it, so I could just slip my finger in there and pull it up. So I had to make an adaptation. So sometimes we have to do that for our clothing. If you have uh, zippers on your coat or other items and you can't quite grab it enough, then, then put a key ring on it. This is small enough that you know it's, you don't notice it's not part of the boot, but it, it just helps me a lot to. So those are the small adaptations that we can make um, and, and to help us be able to dress comfortably, comfortably, uh, well, however. <laughs> so, um, so that's one of the adaptations that, that I make with my clothing, especially zippers, because I have a hard time with them. Um, I don't have much strength in my hands. So, um, so it's those little details that you have to pay attention to. If you have a lot of trouble with shoestrings, change them. Uh, change them for the stretchy kind, uh, the ones that kids use, um, you know, so you don't have to uh, be tying your shoes all the time. Uh, and the stretchy ones will also give uh, room for your feet, you know, uh, depending on how your feet are doing that day. Uh, the other thing is that in regular clothing, you want to make sure there's no wrinkles underneath you uh, that's going to be rubbing and cause you a sore. So that no matter what clothing you're using, I always look for soft clothing, for clothing that I know I can adjust and that it's not going to cause me an issue. There's nothing going to be rubbing and causing skin irritation or a sore. So. We want to be very careful with that, no matter what clothing you choose. But I choose, you know, things that are really soft, that are kind of silky, that are not going to wrinkle underneath me, or that I can at least, you know, wiggle around and adjust it so I don't have any wrinkles underneath. Um, I use compression socks, so um, with those, you need to make sure, for sure, that there are no wrinkles once you put them on. Um, so it's, it's those kind of basic things that you want to make sure in your clothing and your style that it is comfortable, that it's breathable, that it's, it's not tight, that you have good circulation, uh, that there's no wrinkles, that if you have zippers, you know, and you have a hard time with them, just put a key ring on it and, and that will <laughs> make your life a whole lot better. <laughs> And think of the stretchy uh, shoelaces uh, or the curly cue. I had some curly cue uh, shoelaces put on, on some shoes, and I don't have to tie them. <laughs> they just curl up, and that's it. You know, I don't have to tie them. So I don't have to bend over and get in some odd position to <laughs> tie my shoes every time. So it, it's those kind of things that are useful to know and I will post a few pictures on here as it goes along you'll see them up there or over there <laughs> I have some ideas uh, so that uh, you can uh, make sure that you're comfortable with what you're wearing and it's practical and it's easy to put on there's a second section that I will uh, post here uh, about semi adaptable clothing, and then there's the adaptable clothing that a caregiver puts on you. So right now I'm talking about regular clothing, you know, blouses, shirts, pants, uh, socks, shoes, what kind of practical things you can do just with regular clothing. And then the next video I'm going to post um, about uh, clothing that's semi-adaptable that makes it even easier to put on. Um, now, we know that adaptable clothing can be very expensive. So uh, 
you know, we'll, I'll post a few links in the description box of some companies that um, have adaptable clothing at a reasonable price. But if you sew or you have a family member who sews, they might be able to um, make those adaptations to your clothing to make it easier for you to, to put on. All right, so any questions, any comments, any suggestions you have for uh, what ad adaptations you've put into your clothing, feel free to post down below and that will help the rest of us.